What experience do I have with promoting events on Facebook? I've got a good bit of experience promoting events on Facebook. First, I'll mention what you can't see here. I promoted a world tour for a client that was across the country. The ad budget was in the tens of thousands of dollars. There were thousands of people that went. It was quite successful in some areas and some of the events, there weren't very many people there. There were small intimate events among just the very best customers. So I've done a lot that you can't see here promoting events. What I'm going to spend most of this video on is showing you what I have done that you can see. And it's not all pretty and perfect. I've promoted some events for myself that were so successful they showed me exactly what I needed to do in my business. They got me doing what I'm doing right here in front of you right now. I've had some events that were such a flop I spent thousands of dollars advertising them. Not even one person went. So I've done it right and I've done it wrong. You're here with me now because of both of those. Promoting an event on Facebook can go really well. It can be a complete waste of time and money. It all depends on how you set the event up and I hope my experience with having done it right and wrong is useful for you. So let's show you the case studies here. Let's show you the successful one first. I promoted this was the first event you can see here I did on my Facebook page. I had an event online where I made an online training. So this is the first one you can see here, but it's actually, I did the two failures first. I tried things that didn't work in order to get to a format that did work. So we'll keep that in mind a bit later. So here's the one that worked. 1,900 plus people said they went to the event on Facebook and you can see the results from that. This was an online a webinar, my first webinar showing what I knew about Facebook ads. The video, you can see it's got 300 likes here on it. It's got hundreds of thousands of views on it. Now you can't see the statistics because of the way it's set up here. So here you can see the statistics on the video. This video, 143,000 views, a gigantic boost it got from all the people who went to the event on Facebook. This video was the first successful viral video I had where I produced something that I knew how to do. It led to everything you have seen since then, which might be how big my YouTube channel is now or how big my Facebook page is with all of the likes I have on my page, all of the fans online, everything goes back to this event on YouTube. All it was, I made a Google Hangout. This event was a Google Hangout and that's it. I made this Google Hangout, I used Facebook ads with the event to promote it and it went extremely well. I knew after that I needed to start teaching more because I got a ton of positive feedback driven through all the Facebook ads. So that event was the first successful event I did and after that, then I've done a lot more successful webinars on YouTube and then all the teaching on Udemy. So that event got me in the right place. Now how did I get there? I tried two events that were utter failures first. I tried an event up here you can see. This is a pro online dating center in person. Now to me it seems like a lot of people want to start with an event in person. So I started with an event in person. As you can see on the time on this event, it was months before this other event I had. And this event also that came right before it, it was a few weeks. So these were events I spent money advertising. I tried really hard to get people to go to. I was all excited about them. I told all the people around the office. I booked the conference room in my office center and I made them about two distinctly separate subjects. One was learn social media sales. Now contrast this with this event. So a few months later, I was able to pull off a very successful event on a very similar subject, 
by just changing the format. So I did this one and not one person came to it. No one came to this event. Now, 17 people said they went on Facebook. That's one of the problems with Facebook events. Often people will go and not say anything on Facebook and often people will not go and it'll look like they went on Facebook. So I tried something different, a totally different subject, a totally different ad campaign and not one person went to my pro online dating seminar. So those failures led to this big success here that you then see. It led to this huge Facebook page. It led to all the teaching I'm doing online. It led to a ton more videos like that on YouTube. And now I'm doing a new event format on my new Facebook page here. So what I'm doing, I walk you through what I've learned about events as I create an event from start to finish. So you've seen my experience here that I can show you in the context of promoting an event for a client also that was very successful, a world tour in a bunch of different cities which I can't show. I've shown you honestly my failures and my biggest successes so far that for me personally, so I'm grateful you've watched this. I think this course has a lot of information that will make promoting events for you on Facebook into something amazing.